Welcome to Soul's Game Dev Journey, where we explore the exciting world of game development together. Have you ever wondered what it takes to create a game like Civilization? Or Chess? How do developers make decisions that shape the game, like choosing the shape of the tiles in the grid or the mechanics of the turn system? Hello everyone, I'm your host, Soul, and in this new series Create a Turn-Based Strategy with Unity, we're going to answer these questions and more. We're going to build a turn-based strategy game from scratch using Unity, one of the most popular game development platforms out there. Whether you're a seasoned game developer or just starting out, this series will have something for you. We'll be going through the entire process step by step, so you can follow along at your own pace. Before we dive into the details of our upcoming turn-based strategy game, let me introduce myself and share a bit about my experience in the field. With a master's degree in educational computer science and years of teaching experience in Aldo School, I've worked with tools like Unity and Blender to provide my students with a solid foundation in practical, hands-on programming. After my teaching career, I transitioned into web development as a full-stack developer and eventually moved into project management. But my love for game development never waned. That's why I decided to start this series to document my journey of creating a turn-based strategy game from scratch using Unity. Turn-based strategy games have always fascinated me. The careful planning, the strategic decision-making, and the thrill of outsmarting your opponents make these games truly captivating. But before we dive into the development process, let's talk about what turn-based strategy games are. In a turn-based strategy game, Players take turns making decisions and executing actions within a set of rules and limitations. The game progresses in a series of discrete turns, where players strategize and plan their moves carefully. They require strategic thought as each decision can significantly impact the outcome of the game. Popular examples in the video game space include titles like Civilization, XCOM, and Fire Emblem. In the tabletop game space, classics like chess and more modern games like Bloomhaven are great examples. Turn-based strategy games have several defining parts. These include a grid or map where the game takes place, units or characters that players control, and a system of turns where players take turns performing actions. Now, as we embark on this game development journey, we'll be faced with various decisions that will shape our game. For example, when designing our grid system, we'll have to decide on the shape of our tiles. Will we use hexagonal tiles, like in Civilization? squares like in chess, or something more exotic like triangles. This is just one of many things to decide. Some can be decided later with your help, other decisions I've made before starting. So let me lay out the plan for you. We'll start with setting up our Unity environment, use Git and GitHub for versioning and then move on to creating the project. Then we'll begin with implementing game systems. We'll start with a grid and move on to creating things to put on it. This will involve implementing RPG elements into our game such as resources, buildings, production, and modifiers. Creating units is another crucial aspect of our game. We'll start with basic units and gradually introduce advanced units with special abilities. This will allow us to explore different unit mechanics and strategies. Implementing movement mechanics is an essential part of a turn-based strategy game. We'll begin with basic movement and then delve into advanced movement mechanics and pathfinding algorithms to ensure smooth and strategic unit movement. And of course, no turn-based strategy game is complete without a well-designed turn system. We'll discuss and implement both basic and advanced turn mechanics, allowing players to take actions and make decisions within their allotted turns. Each of these elements adds depth and complexity to the gameplay, and we'll discuss the design choices and implementation strategies for each. Along the way, we'll discuss important programming principles like interfaces, components, and singletons, and show you how they're used in game development. And the best part, we'll be taking input from you, our audience, on what to implement next. So, if you're ready to embark on this game development journey with us, make sure to subscribe to Soul's Game Dev Journey and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. In the next video, we'll be setting up our Unity environment. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.